Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I apologize. It's a little windy today. I'm going to try to do my best to keep the microphone out of the wind so you can hear me. Uh, this is a 2002 Fleetwood Expedition model number 34M, which is their most popular model in the Expedition line. In fact, when you Google Fleetwood Expedition, uh, it always shows you the most popular Google searches when you do that, and the first one that pops up is the 34M. 34 feet long, diesel Class A, very small size for a Class A diesel. Two power slide outs, 28,000 miles, it's in immaculate condition. It's got the 300 horsepower Cummins ISB diesel engine with 660 pound feet of torque. This thing's in beautiful condition, folks. I know this is a 14 year old motorhome, but I'm going to tell you, as far as this age motorhome's concerned, they don't come any nicer than this. But 28,000 miles, 34 feet long, very easy size to drive and park. Beautiful condition. Of course, Fleetwood's the company that pioneered the motorhome. They're one of the oldest manufacturers still in business today. Talking about a 65 year old plus company, so it's safe to say they know what they're doing. There's more Fleetwoods on the road than any other brand motorhome. Look at the striping and finish, folks. I mean, there's no delamination. I mean, you can tell this thing's been kept under cover or kept under a shed or something because they don't just they don't come any slicker than this expedition, folks. And I'm not trying to just sell you something. I'm telling you the truth. My personal and honest observation, this thing's just in beautiful condition. You know, a lot of O2s you look at, the striping's faded or starting to peel. But look at these stripes. Look how slick and, and the finish is. Uh, the striping, the details in the striping are not faded. Everything works great. It's got a full heated basement. It's a four seasons model. Two slides. It's got the 7500 uh, Onan diesel generator that's running right now, powering everything up inside, and it works great. This is a nice motorhome, folks. I'm going to tell you, it's uh, for this price range and the quality of this motorhome, it's hard to beat. Let's look inside. Of course, it's got the Lumaguard patio awning, the power platform. It's a Freightliner chassis with the 300 horse ISB Cummins. See, the steps look great. You know, one thing I like about this motorhome, folks, it's all original. The carpet's original, the upholstery's original. You know, you look at a lot of these that are 13, 14 years old, the carpets have been changed, the seats have been redone. This right here is all original and it's about as new as you can ever expect to find in a 2002 model. Let's close this door here. Now I've got the, like I said, I've got the generator running. Uh, the dash air is even ice cold, which really surprised me because nobody ever keeps up dash airs in these because they're kind of pointless. But this one actually got an ice cold dash air. Let me go ahead and crank it up. Of course, Freightliner chassis, so if you ever need service, or anything like that. I mean, this one right here is very common chassis, very easy to find parts for. 28,000 miles, folks. 28,623 miles. I mean, this is a diesel, too. That's low mileage for a gas burner. A diesel's even that much better. Look at this, folks. Diesel generator, 7.5 diesel generator. Look at those hours. 74 hours on the generator you know that's the thing you see a lot of these ultra low mileage motorhomes like this people have lived in them the generators have a lot of hours on them and you look in them the carpet and the poster has been changed out because it's been lived in but not this one folks it's all original six speed allison transmission it's got the optional exhaust brake or engine retarder uh, power gear hydraulic leveling jacks it's the air suspension the air brakes Nice motorhome, folks. It's 34 feet long. You see the backup camera works. The dash here. Let me see if I got my thermometer on me. I just want to show you here. Let me turn it turn it up a little bit. You know, de traditionally, dash airs and motorhomes are pointless. Uh, I've got an 08 model myself, and the dash air 
doesn't work on it and I have no plans on ever repairing it because it's pointless it just burns more fuel because you know trying to use a dash air to cool off an RV is like sticking an ice cube in a 500 degree oven expecting that single ice cube to cool that oven off it's not going to happen but look at this folks we're blowing low 40s in a diesel at idle Look at that, folks. We're even dipping down into the 30s. Obviously, that's cold, and that, and to have an air conditioner on a 2002 that still works and it's ice cold right there tells you that these people that had this RV took excellent care of it because there's going to be some service and maintenance involved in a 14-year-old motorhome keeping the dash air working over the years. Um, so obviously, they kept that service and maintenance up. Let me go ahead and cut the motor off here now folks the seats look excellent this is those those really nice flex steel soft leather chairs they both swivel for party seating you got a big curtain that goes all the way around your windshield and the windshield looks great uh tv uh got the original electronics everything works folks i mean um look at that I'm going to show you something real quick. I know a lot of people ask me what a crossover is because this unit's got it. Let me show you what it is. And I'm going to use the old school VCR just for nostalgia's sake. What it is, you, you put, you use the crossover and as you can see, you've got the, um, of course I got to clear that, all that right there off. But you can see, you can see the movie on the, on the TV. Let me x out all that stuff real quick let's try this again i think i accidentally put it in spanish but that's all right i can i can read that too as you can see you've got the movie playing on this tv but this allows you to watch it in the back bedroom without having to have an extra component. In other words, you don't have to have two VCRs, two DVD players, anything like that. As you can see, you got the, of course I know folks, I apologize, these CRT TVs, when you record them with a video camera, have that line in them, but it works fine, I promise. But I'll show you that here in a minute. We got the movie playing up there. We've got the table booth and the sleeper sofa look at all this original carpet folks this is the original carpet from 14 years ago it looks like new uh the table booth makes a bed all your books and manuals are included and this is really neat the fact that this is only a 34 foot motor home but it's got some big features you normally see in the 40 footers uh you've got the corian countertops and nice floors got the washer and dryer combo which i I don't think I've seen a 34 footer with a washer and dryer, but here it is. And it's got the upgrade four door refrigerator freezer with ice maker. So again, that's a feature you don't see on most 34 footers. They most of the time just have the single, the single door, uh, the double door refrigerator, not the full four door. This is a 12 cubic foot model folks. So it's, uh, you can hold a lot of food in here. Uh, let's see if it's getting cold yet. It's getting down there. It hasn't been on very long, folks, but it's already getting down there nice and cold. You know, when, when you buy an RV from us, folks, we just don't give you the keys and say, here you go, take the good with the bad. It, after you buy an RV from us, my RV technicians, my certified RV techs, take this unit to our service area. We go through a very extensive checklist, like 125, 130 points, and uh, we go through, which is twice what other dealers do, and we go through this RV, make sure everything works like it's supposed to, as stated on the checklist. And if you want a copy of that checklist, give us a call. My salespeople will be more than happy to fax or email you a copy of it. But I'm going to tell you right now, folks, just from cranking this RV up, look at that, folks. We're blowing 30s out of the roof here. <laughs> just from me coming out here, cranking the generator up, turning the air conditioners and the fridge on, I don't think you're going to have an issue with this motorhome. I'm not an RV tech, but my RV techs will check it just to double check me. Um, I mean, it's amazing to me that, that you have to constantly remind yourself you're in a 2002 model. You feel like you're in a 
12 or 13 model by how clean everything is. The stove eyes don't look like they've ever been cooked on. And at 28,000 miles, if they've, been, if they've been used, it's not been much. Those things are heavy too. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I mean, the, the oven, it's got barely any use at all showing on it. And you can tell we obviously haven't cleaned it because they didn't even set the rack up. But wow, look at that. Confection oven microwave, plus you've got the regular gas oven. So you've got two ovens, which is really neat. I, I, me and my wife, we do a lot of cooking in our RV, so we actually had to install. We got an 08, but we actually had to install a, uh, we had to take the original microwave out and put a confection oven microwave combo, and we love it. It's nice having those two ovens. Um, big residential style sink. Got those heavy Corian tops. See a enamel. Got the filtered water dispenser, the nice faucets. It's got the Panasonic uh, home theater surround sound. Got nice crown molding around the RV. It's got the carpeted headliner with the sound deadening material to helps insulate your coach and it also reduces road vibrations and outside noise. Really nice walkthrough bathroom. Um, you've got the glassed in shower. You see we haven't cleaned it up yet. It's still got some stuff on the bottom, but it will be cleaned up when we sell it, folks, when we go through our checklist. Uh, got a nice vanity area, no show. You don't see anywhere in here, anything like that. It's got a private water closet. Got the upgrade porcelain RV toilet. You can look up top, there's no water stains. The vents in here, it's got cabinets. The skylight, you can look around it, there's no water marks. I know a lot of people worry about that, but this thing has been well, well cared for. And of course here in the back bedroom, You've got a Queen Island bed. And I think the movie just went off, folks. What I was going to show you is the fact that you can play the movie on both TVs at the same time with this crossover switch. Let me show you here. I'm sorry about that. I'm let me just rewind it here. Been a few, it's been a day or two since I've used one of these VCRs. This must be a very, very short movie, is all I can say. I just run in a, they left a family motor coach video in here, so I just thought I'd play it and just kind of show y'all what that, what the, how the crossover works. And play. As you can see, right, there we go. We got it playing up here. Let's go to the back. And you can see it playing on the back TV. Well, this way, you know, the advantage of that, you don't have to buy two DVDs or two Blu-ray players. You just put one up front wired into the crossover and you can play it on one tv both tvs you can just play it on the back tv watch something different on the front tv uh, if you're hooked into cable you can watch cable on one tv and vcr or dvd on the other vcr I mean, who uses that anymore but it's got it in it and that's the way i like it folks i like to buy something with the original tvs because these newer hd tvs you you just can't get them to fit in the same hole as these CRT TVs because these are square and, of course, the newer TVs are rectangular. So I never change those unless you absolutely have to. And I like having all the original electronics at work because that's what came with it from the factory. So, And, you know, if I do change it, I always get the good stuff and I know what's in it when it was done. So and that's what I like about this one, folks. Nobody's messed with this. Nobody's modified it. Nobody's customized it. This is all original factory. It looks the same as it did when it, when it was new in 2002. You know, you see a lot of these this age that people have removed a cabinet or added shelving or added electronics, added stuff that wasn't factory. And, and I don't like that, folks. I'd rather buy one that's all factory. And if I want to do any mods, I do it myself. It still has the original factory bedspread. Uh, big closet across the back. Uh, of course, like I said, you got your TV, plenty of drawer space. You know, this is a nice motorhome for, for the price and for what it is. You can see underneath the windows, there's no water stains or anything like that. I mean, Fleetwood makes a good product. They wouldn't be in business as long as they have if they didn't. But this is a nice, clean, low mileage, small Class A diesel pusher. It's only $49.9 will trade interest rates as low as three percent with approved credit 
finance terms are available up to 180 months again with approved credit and that unit this that that's this unit checked out ready to go just jump in it and uh, after it's been checked out by my techs of course you can just jump in it take it anywhere in the country right off the lot this is a nice motor home and i have no doubt in my mind it's going to breeze through our checklist like a hot knife through butter because somebody has taken very very good care of it and i've said this before folks it doesn't matter what kind of buy you're getting on the rv if it hasn't been taken care of you're just inheriting somebody else's problems when you get a motor home that's in this kind of condition that looks like this one that's obviously been taken very very good care of then you know that you're getting a top-notch coach let me tell you another hack or another secret to getting a good coach you see this carpeted headliner around these air vents okay Notice there's no stains or no black marks around them or no bleached out spots. And I'll tell you that's a good thing because when when the previous owners don't keep the filters changed and the air conditioner returns, you get a black, I don't know, almost like a smud or, or black stains around all the vents. You can't get those stains out without using a cleaner so strong that it bleaches this headliner bright white. So if you ever looked at an RV and seen the black marks or you seen bleached out spots around the around the the, uh, the vents in the ceiling, that's because the previous owner or the RV dealer had to use a cleaner so strong it bleached the uh, the headliner out to remove those black streaks. So when you see that, that pretty much tells you they probably didn't take very good care of it, and you want to kind of you know approach that one with caution, but. Every one of the vents in here is clean as can be. There's no stains, no bleached out spots. You can tell they kept the filters changed like they were supposed to. Uh, roof looks great. Of course, we check that with our checkout. We do the yearly service on it too before you take it, of course. I'm gonna tell you folks, it's for $49.9 and the fact that this is a 34 foot with 28,000 miles, I mean, think about it. These diesel, these diesel tractor trailers with Freightliner chassis and Cummins diesel engines, towing 60, 70,000 pounds, run a million miles or better before they're due for their first engine overhaul. So if they get a million miles towing twice the what of what this thing weighs, imagine what you can get with this one with only 28,000 miles and, and, and towing half the weight that those big semi trailers do, semi trucks do. That's the benefit of a diesel over a gas is a longevity. You've got 72 hours on a diesel generator. Just like a diesel motor, you literally, I've never seen a worn out diesel generator. I have personally seen those 7,500 Onan diesel generators with 35,000 hours on them and still crank up and run just like it's supposed to. And this one's got 72 hours. So what should that tell you about this motor home and buying one that's going to last you for a long, long, long time. Quite possibly the last motor home you'll ever need to buy. Perfect size, 34 foot, you can get in just about any state park or older campground. You know, I know a lot of the older campgrounds, you get over 34, 35 foot, you have a hard time getting a spot sometimes. But this size right here is an easy size to drive, it's an easy size to find a place to park. And just a really nice, clean, all original motorhome. $49.9 will trade. Like I said, we've got interest rates as low as 3%. Financing terms up to 180 months with approved credit. We have no extra sales fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, no dealer fees. You know, these other RV dealerships, they're going to ask you ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more for this same motorhome with more mileage. And then to add insult to injury, they're going to uh, hit you up with a eight hundred ninety five dollar dock fee uh, three hundred and uh, three hundred seventy five prep fee hundred fifty dollar a title fee and a hundred dollar temporary tag fee we have no extra fees folks the price is what you pay plus sales tax if you're a georgia buyer and of course if you're out of state you pay your tax when you title it in your home state like most of our customers do but we don't even charge you for the 45-day drive-out tag. We give you a starter kit. We go through our extensive checklist. And like I said, just contact my sales department. They'll send you a copy of it. Covers virtually anything you can think of in an RV. The only thing it doesn't cover, folks, is the dash air, which I just showed works, so you don't have to worry about that. And it doesn't cover TVs, which obviously that works. I just played a, uh, I just played a video on them, so... Other than that, folks, it covers virtually everything else. Just just contact us, and we'll and we'll send you a copy so you can see for yourself. You know, 
a motor home like this is not something that hits the market every day I mean most of these ultra low mileage like I said before and I'm sorry I'm trying not to repeat myself but just about all your low mileage motorhomes like this have been live-in units they're worn out I mean but look at the carpets look at the upholstery in here this thing's as as fresh and crisp as, as you could ever ask a 14 year old motorhome to be and you know why go out and spend 150 grand you on a, on one of these and you can buy this one for under 50 with virtually as close to like new as you'll ever find in a 2002 model that's why it doesn't pay to buy new of course i mean the previous owners lost a hundred thousand dollars to go 28,000 miles now that's not a a <laughs> serious uh Look at that, folks. We've already dropped about 8 degrees in here since I shot it earlier, so you know it's working. But, folks, if that's not a serious depreciation loss, or I mean, if I lost 100 grand on something and only used it no more than this one's been used, I would be absolutely sick to my stomach. But, you know, that's just what happens when you buy them new. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Now, folks, We've been in business 48 years. We sell over 500 used RVs a, a year. We're one of the largest and most successful independently owned family run RV dealerships in the country. We've got about 100 and actually closer to 170 used RVs right now. Got a huge lot out here. We've got the best prices on the internet. We, that's why we sell over 500 used RVs, campers and fifth wheels a year. We're so confident about our RVs, the quality of them, the pricing of them, that we don't play games and we even give you our, our company owner's personal cell phone number that 423-605-6747 is our after hour sales number is our company owner's phone number that's how confident we are folks and this isn't just a mom and pop operation he's a multi-millionaire with one of the largest rv dealership independently like i said independently owned family rv dealerships in the south and you've got his personal cell phone number so if that'll tell you what kind of business we run and how confident we are, I don't know what else will. 48 years in business, folks. Tens of thousands of motorhomes, fifth wheels, and campers sold. Sold in all 50 states, including multiple sales to Alaska and multiple sales to Hawaii. 2,000 plus motorhomes, fifth wheels, and campers delivered all over Canada. We've sent over 30 overseas to England, Italy, Australia, the Netherlands, and other countries. And when we ask people why they travel so far to buy an RV from us here in Ringgold, Georgia, you know what they almost all say? The price. Because they can't beat our prices. They can't beat the quality of our RVs. You know, that's that's the benefit of buying from a dealer like us who's been in the round for so long that we know where to get the good motorhomes before the big dealers get it. If you saw this same motorhome at a big dealership, they would be asking fifty nine dollars to $69,000 plus fees Plus, they'll be ripping you off on financing by marking interest rates up, which we don't do, by the way. A lot of people don't know this, but when you finance an RV at most RV dealerships, they're marking the interest rate up double or more from what the bank approved you for. That costs you thousands and thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan. I did a video earlier today that the original loan contract was still in the motor home. It was $160,000 excuse me, $150,000 new. They bought it brand new, paid 6.99% interest. Well, I can get you a 3% interest rate if you've got good credit. Now, why somebody's paying three times as much for the same motor home and paying, almost, and paying over double the interest rate is obvious they're getting ripped off. So you don't have to worry about that here, folks. 3% interest rates, I do them every single week. I also have extended terms up to 180 months on this unit. It's going on eBay, it's going on a bunch of other different websites. It's going to sell. We're a certified power seller on eBay with hundreds of positive feedbacks. You're welcome to read. I've got dozens and dozens. I've got over 50, I believe, uh, positive customer testimonials on our Google Plus page that people that came from all over the United States. We're not going to risk that reputation to sell you a 2002 expedition that may be hiding something or maybe something or I'm trying to portray it as something that it's not. I'm not going to risk that reputation to sell a thousand 2002 expeditions. It's going to go through the checklist. It's going to pass anything on it. Of course, if we find anything that's not working, we repair it before you pick it up. We'll deliver this unit nationwide. My drivers have no problem delivering this RV thousands of miles if need be. 
just like it sets right now that's how confident we are in our RVs and we just if you want it delivered we just charge you whatever it cost us to bring it to you and get my driver back home not a penny more and we del we've, we've delivered all over the United States folks I don't care how far away you live from us we've sold somebody in your area an RV a fifth wheel or a camper before in the past we can really make it worth your while. A lot of our customers fly into Chattanooga, Tennessee. We'll pick you up for free at the airport during business hours, bring you back here. If you need a tow dolly, if you want to drive your own car, you can. we'll sell you a tow dolly at cost. Or if you want to rent a car to get to us, we'll, we'll help drop the car off at our local rental car terminal, again, at no extra charge. No commission salespeople, so no games, no gimmicks. Everybody here is on salary. Nobody, it doesn't really matter to anybody's paycheck whether you buy this motor home or don't buy this motor home. And that's a great relief because everybody hates dealing with commission salespeople. And it costs you a lot too because you have to pay that 25% uh, gross profit commission that dealers pay their salespeople, folks. 25%. That means that dealer has to mark their units up an additional 25% to cover their salesperson's commissions. In other words, they don't pay the salesperson you do by paying thousands more for the same RV that you can get here for thousands less. I think you're starting to see why we've been in business since 1968. So give us a call, email us at sales at Parkway RV Center, check out our website, parkwayrvcenter.com or .net. You can email me directly. I'm not in sales and I don't take sales calls, but if you just got general questions, you're welcome to email me at bo, B -O at parkwayrvcenter.com. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see y'all soon.